Hey everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to have some fun and we're going to uh, see what it's like to uh, compute watersheds for uh, a large terrain elevation surface using uh, 48 threads. We are going to work with a 24-core uh, processor. It's an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2970WX 24-core processor, which means that it has uh, 48 threads. And uh, here we can see uh, in uh, Windows Tax Manager, all 48 threads are open. That's uh, six rows of uh, eight cores each, so that's 48 threads uh, right there. And uh, Manifold, of course, is parallel, so Manifold can actually use all those uh, 48 threads. And uh, if you like, you can do this at home using uh, uh, Manifold Viewer. That's the free viewer. It's uh, free to download. It costs nothing to download. There's no ads, um, no need to register, no upsell, uh, no begging for donations. And Viewer is uh, perfectly, is 100% is parallel, CPU parallel and GPU parallel, so you can do all this in a Viewer as well. Okay, what are we looking at here? Here on the left-hand side of the screen, we see a Manifold Release 9 session. And I've reduced that in size so that we have room here to uh, see what's going on in the uh, task manager at the same time that we're working in the manifold. Uh, and I've also undocked the uh, contents pane and the uh, project pane. So those can be moved about out of the way so we can see both task manager and we get, and we get more visual area here. On the left-hand side, we have the Montara uh, train elevation surface. And uh, that's this layer right here, the upper layer. The lower layer is Bing Street Maps, and that's being pulled in from the Bing Street Map server. And I've done that so you can see where we're working here. And we're working with uh, data on the San Francisco Peninsula. Here's the San Francisco Peninsula. And down here are uh, areas like, uh, you know, Belmont, San Carlos, Half Moon Bay. And down here is Silicon Valley. Uh, Google's right about here. Here's uh, Palo Alto. Uh, and there's our data set. Uh, because uh, Bing can be kind of slow to, uh, you know, for all the tiles to come in from Bing, because it is, after all, a web sort of thing. I'm going to turn Bing off, so we'll just... Uh, Double click the layer to turn it off. So we'll just work with the uh, Montero layer right there. And I'll zoom in to, so you can see the detail of uh, what's going on here. And uh, this is a Space Shuttle SRTM3 data. So you can see the actual roads uh, cut, cut outs and, and that sort of thing. So it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good detailed uh, data. How big is it? We can see that here in the component pane. It's uh, about 13,000 tiles. And to see that in pixels, we can look in uh, this. Uh, dialog here. It's 16,142 by 16,142 pixels. So that's a total of about uh, uh, 994 megabytes. So in round numbers, we're working with a one gigabyte data set here. Uh, if I zoom to fit here, what I've done is I formatted this, thematically formatted this, so that where the SRTM space shuttle data has no data, that is just the train elevation service, all that uh, uses invisible pixels. Uh, so let's go back to that uh, view that we had right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to compute uh, watersheds, which is easy to do. I'm going to move the project pane out of the way down here. And uh, for the watersheds, we'll, uh, so we can see what's going on here with the CPU, CPU as well. Uh, let's go to the transform pane. And uh, there's a lot of transforms here. To get to the watershed ones, we'll just click W-A-T-E-R so that only transforms with water in them are visible. If I click watershed areas, uh, that's for MinFlow 100. Manifold immediately starts computing a um, preview. That's just a preview for the region that's uh, uh, in view. And I want to compute the uh, watershed areas where there's at least a minimum flow of uh, 500 units through the watershed. Uh, and that'll create bigger watershed areas that um, you know, look prettier for the example. Now, to actually compute these over that entire one gigabyte surface, I'm going to click here, Add Component. Uh, let's do that. Let's click Add Component. And what it'll start doing, it'll start computing uh, the watershed areas for uh, this entire surface. Uh, and as you can see, Manifold has immediately launched the job in parallel. Uh, this is a, a non-uniform memory architecture thread wrapper. It's not the latest generation thread, thread wrapper. It's a second gen thread wrapper. But as you can see, Manifold is doing a pretty good job of dispatching all this in parallel to use many, many, th many, many cores here. And these cores here are probably the NUMA cores, so it's using those less intensively than the more efficient ones. The job is already over, by the way. I'm just commenting on uh, how it's done. And you can see Manifold did a pretty darn good job of dispatching that job into as many as 48 threads, despite the job being a fairly small job. And this is a small job for Manifold. Doing train uh, uh, computations uh, of watersheds on one gigabyte is uh, not a big deal. Uh, let's drag and drop that into the uh, map. And this is the resulting drawing that we created. So you can see it, comp it really did compute watershed areas uh, for the entire uh, data set. How long did it take it to do that? Uh, it took uh, 21... Let's see, 22.4 seconds to do that. And that'll vary between 21, 22 seconds, something like that, depending on what's in cache, depending on what you're doing, depending on how much memory you use. Uh, let's see what we're using here for tools. Options, the cache that we have set up is a uh, 32 gig in cache size for uh, 
64 gig, gig system. So that's 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 kind of a normal use. Manifold has done a very good job here, coming right off the bat. By the way, what we're looking at here is uh, I'm connecting to uh, the uh, Threadripper machine uh, through remote desktop. So everything that you see here going on that we're capturing on screen is being captured in a remote desktop. Uh, let's uh, let's color these areas just so you can get a better view of those, and I'll expand this dialog a little bit so I have more room uh, for controls. And let's say uh, I want to thematically format that based on value, and oh, I don't know, let's use some kind of cool styling. Let's use uh, well, let's use a CB accent, color brewer accent, for no particular reason. Click update style. That's for equal intervals. Let's, let's do it for uh, equal count. And again, a supply CB accent. So uh, there you can see the different uh, uh, areas that were uh, created. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can see how easy it is to uh, do watershed areas in Manifold. You can see how incredibly fast Manifold is when uh, it has uh, lots of uh, cores to work with. And uh, uh, like I say, this is not a particularly large job. So uh, dispatching this to uh, uh, 48 threads uh, is pretty good. Uh, Manifold is optimized not just to automatically do uh, parallel processing, but it also will automatically uh, optimize for uh, many core processors. Uh, I mean, most people that do parallel processing, uh, when they start off, uh, you know, they only do four or eight threads or something like that. And it's pretty hard to uh, keep uh, more than 16 threads going without them stepping on each other. Manifold can easily handle way more than that. Uh, and with a 48 uh, thread machine, probably reaching saturation somewhere around 32 threads or something like that, where the additional uh, 12 threads aren't going to make that much of a difference. But the Manifold can uh, do the uh, task as well as it has in terms of automatically paralyzing to use 48 threads is uh, pretty darn impressive. I, I think you'll agree. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.